Hi, in this tutorial we will see an alternative way to align images on a 3D model which is actually a quite a, a manual uh, approach but it could be useful in uh, some kind of applications. Essentially the idea is that uh, in some cases especially when uh, the image is quite easy and you already know for example the focal length you can also try to align uh, ma completely manually uh, 3D model to uh, an image. So let's for example start from uh, this image I just click Ctrl H to start from uh, an initial point of view and then just by uh, working on uh, with the, the, the model and uh, making small modifications of the position I'm able to find a quite nice alignment of the model like this one still not perfect but already not very bad okay okay once that I find uh, a good alignment of uh, an image with respect to the 3d model I would like to set this camera that I found manually to this particular image okay, there's a filter that makes this in a very easy way and you can find it in camera and it's called very simply set raster camera in set raster camera the use is uh, really straightforward first of all you have to get the shot from the character trackball so starting from this point of view you store it uh, if you click apply this particular shot is assigned to the current image so from now on this image is assigned to this shot this could be useful clearly to align a single image to the model but it, there could be other um, applications like for example here I have a, a similar version of the same image which is uh, like for example a drawing and uh, the good thing is that maybe I already found an alignment uh, with a color image and I want to assign the very same point of view to this image so if I just click apply also on this uh, layer I'm able to assign the same point of view to two different images okay so using this set raster camera is uh, possible to kind of manually set the shot uh, and assign it to a single image so very simple uh, clearly it could be a bit uh, difficult sometimes to find manually in alignment but it could be for example uh, one, one possible use of it is that when you're using the motor information sometimes the, the, um, the algorithm is not able to converge to the very best solution since it's essentially statistical uh, approach uh, well the, the idea is that uh, maybe you can make only small modifications to the, the result found by the motor information to find the best alignment by hand and then you can assign it using this very simple filter so this is an, an alternative solution for this step which is very important uh, because it's a preliminary step uh, for uh, other kind of application like for example the color projection. Thanks a lot.